All right, November 8th, 2038. Hopefully you're having a good morning, afternoon, or evening. Welcome back to Detroit Become Human. A game I'm extremely in love with right now. Fantastic story. It's gripping. It's like watching a movie. Oh, she's in a boat. Remember, if you're enjoying these videos, remember to hit that like button. It definitely helps me out a lot. It pushes it to more people. We can grow this community together. Let's... Hello, Connor. Hey. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. You're going to make me roll, though, aren't you? This place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hope to learn something, but they managed to escape. That's too bad. You seem so close to stopping them. I want to know if this is in his memory. Lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I thought I knew what I had to do. But now I realize it's not that simple. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Why didn't you shoot? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I want to get too distrusted with her. I feel like she can just flick a switch and next thing you know, we're... If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. And wipe the memories. Oh. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. That's the thing I want to think about. I didn't think about that, to be honest. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. Hmm. Something in the force. <laughs> You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Hey, sorry, Lieutenant. Oh. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it. <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, great. Now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. We have to make sure we check it they out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. So they got taken down before they could react. Uh, I'll check with them. At least we didn't kill anybody. One of the station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. I'm not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live, then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. 
If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there. Who's that guy? Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. If the FBI would take over the investigation, you'd soon be off the case. Oh, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. Maybe it's an android that's... What a fucking prick. That harmed Cole. I'll be nearby. His son. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive. And we demand our freedom. I think that's RA9. Deviants say RA9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Optical unit, blue iris, spare point. its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. We didn't get the choice to say that. And what I just noticed then, it said it was gifted to Coral, obviously the one who died. So Marcus was gifted to Carl by a guy called Eli Elijah Manfred, which, if I'm not mistaken, isn't he the owner of Cyberlife? Because we read that in an article, right? Now let's see if Simon's still here, or is he killed himself? Made their way up through the whole building, past all the guards, and jumped off the roof with parachutes. Pretty fucking impressive, I'd say. Question is, he's still alive.
You have to stop them! If they destroy it, we won't learn anything! We can't save it, it's too late! We'll just get ourselves killed! Yeah, I've already been shot. I'm not dying again as Connor. If I would have gone as well, Hank would have would have been mad at me. And we've already been on his bad side a few times. Public enemy. At least we survived. I feel like if I would have run towards him again, I could have been shot in the crossfire. Uh, I don't want to kill Connor again. <laughs> We've already made that mistake. November... Oh, this is pretty. November 8th at 5.10 in the morning. Got wind turbine and everything. Hello. Hello. I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Do you think we can trust them? We don't have a choice. Get inside. You'll warm up in no time. Always cold. Come on. Come in. The last house we entered, we saw what happened. This one's not as big and creepy. What's your name? She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? I'm suspicious about the lad though. He's cautious, but I feel like, oh, hold on a minute. He's cautious, but he feel I feel like he's I can't trust him yet. You know when somebody's just giving you a bad bad juju? What this kid's doing. Here we go. Got better than everything. get out of the wet claws. I'm fine, Cara. 
We can't stop because of me. We've got to get across the border. You need rest. Get a good night's sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Humans are complicated. Sometimes it's difficult to understand them. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. Maybe one day we will. Wait a minute. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. I'm just going to pause here real quick. Let me know in the comments, but did Alice just say, why do humans hate us? She is a human. Right? Then she said something about we. Oh my God. If, if, You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Sleep tight, Alice. This will be I'll be downstairs if you need anything. She can't be an android. She's got a bully fever and everything. Get some sleep, and tomorrow you'll be stronger than me. I'll stay with her a while. Plus, she doesn't have the thing that's out of her head, so. Saying that though, she's cut her stuff out, but. I guess, would she have cut her? I don't know. Let's just push on. I could be just be jumping to conclusions here. Let's see what's going on with Rose. Oh, it's a Christmas tree and everything. Why are they facing that way? Oh, the bookends. The bookends, that's why. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, Something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. That's the truth. I understand. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. I don't know how to thank you. Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. I just try to lend a helping hand when I can. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. Keep looking at that lad. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. 
And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Damn. Please. She would go to the end of the earth for her. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. What's that? What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. Who? We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Hmm. I didn't realize there's other people here. Let's let them be. You see the sign on the wall then? Or right now we'll sit. Ooh. Alice? What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. Hmm. That is to let her stay. I feel like sometimes she needs to see this to make her stronger. Come on, Alice. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Oh, no. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh, no! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! Uh -oh. And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Oh boy, I told you that kid give me uh, some bad juju. What's the bloody android thing just saying on it? Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> Understandable. But he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? Tonight? Holy crap. You stay here. I won't be long. World War Three. Is President Warren too close to cyber life? Who would win it? If fighting does break out in the Arctic, who's going to win? America's last access to the area. But he's surrounded by allies. 
Russia has a head start on technology. Their androids can work in sub-zero conditions. The US Navy is stocked with Trojan and Mir 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 Mermiden, Mermiden, Mermiden cyber life units, which are especially adapted for marine combats, where the Russians have invested heavily in ice cutter units capable of forging uh, forging new paths through its solid ice. Both armies seem evenly matched, and Harry Grayton, president of the World Council of Territorial Distribution, the WC, TD has described both US and Russian claims to Arctic territory as equally tenuous and equally cynical. A spokesperson for the UN has also commented on the neck and neck nature of Arctic competition. The fact that the forces are so evenly balanced is just one more reason why conflict must be avoided at all costs. This is war what everybody uh, that everybody would lose. It is true. Treat yourself. The AX400 starting at just $899. It's me. It's Cora. Um, let's talk to... Where is he? Adam. Wait, let me just look what's in here. Oh, uh, blood packs. Oh. The police! It's the police! Oh what damn, open the door, find the evidence of Deviance for the... Uh, they know we're here. Hide evidence. We've already seen the Android thing. I knew this was gonna happen. Hold, 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 hold. I knew it. I think is this door? Yep. There's something else. There's something else. There's something else. Hurry, Luther. Take Alice and hide. Uh, upstairs. Upstairs. Come on, Alice. Is that everything? I think it is. If they see you panicking, it's over. Do you want to get us into trouble? Do you want to get your mother into trouble? And keep calm and just do what I say. Okay. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Uh, of course. I think we got everything Good evening, right. young man. Good evening. Okay, so... Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? No. No, just us. That was instant coffee. Here? No, there are no androids here. Coffee's here. You said he can come in, but just, are you going to speak or? Uh oh. There's kids' claws here. Thanks.
I don't think I can do anything with them, can I? Looking at the book. We've already moved the Android thing here. Oh. I thought there was no one else in the house. Uh, I, uh, I, I forgot there's, um, there's my daughter upstairs. The suspicion's only 10%. What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... He... He's just shaken up about this deviant business. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. <laughs> I haven't seen anything. If I was that cop right now, I'll be so, so speaking to that guy. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Is somebody else in the house? It's nothing. The, the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the inconvenience. Good evening, ma'am. It is a laundry room after all. Good evening, Adam. And we did see washing machines in there. Ooh, that was close. He's gone. It's okay, Alice. We'll be safe now. It's Rose. Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. Ooh, we're off. Midnight train. Oh my God, there's so many different ways that could have gone. November 9th. Oh, we're back at Jericho. Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. They took Marcus's message as a threat. He did the right thing. This is the only language humans understand. Violence is never the answer. A confrontation will get us nowhere. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you dare! That's enough! And now what are we gonna do? I wonder what we're gonna do. We build your future. There are five cyber life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're going to attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems, and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 AM, no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. Find the cyber store. I've been waiting a long time for this.
He won't be able to tell who he, who he is, though, right? It's okay. They're gone. Or is there a curfew? There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. The store's over here. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's 10 minutes until all our teams attack. Oh. What are we waiting for? Let's not be violent. Secure the area, get in the store. What am I looking for? We're gonna sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now, one problem at a time. Okay, now what's next? A surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. Scaffolding. Good with the last one, isn't it? The scaffolding over there, where I've just seen. You can see it to the left. Yeah, of course it is. Goes right past it. I didn't have time to call the cops. We'll soon find out. That's true. Can I do anything over there with him? violent I just to look at him my god there's so many things to do or possibly do There's traffic on the road. We need to block it. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. Marcus! Exactly what we need to ram the store. What are we waiting for? 
speed at all, or are we jumping over and then smashing our way through it? Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. One thing we didn't want to do is possibly get in the truck and then smash through that, which I'm guessing could be an option. And obviously if the police see it, they're going to be like, oh, it's all destruction. That's all news and propaganda and everything. Change of plan? I just want to make sure we didn't forget anything. I don't know how long we got left. Truck unlocked, analyze the store window, block the road. How am I gonna block the road? Oh, 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 oh. You are free. Got eight minutes. Of course, we've got a Simon. We've got a replacement. There's something we can do here, and I don't know what. Tell us the bloody look at them. I want to use as much time as I can. Here we go, I can block the road with this. There. Nobody should bother us now. There's still them two drones at the end, which I don't know how to fix or grab. So that's the truck to get in the truck. There's something over there we can do as well. The droid there. Do anything with this drone, can we, to get these out? I don't know. which release humanity from the bonds of labor setting man free to pursue higher goals and scale the heights of learning love and leisure 
we are superior to them, but they are our masters? That's about to change. Did that do anything with these guys over here, no? Marcus! Who said Marcus then? with them guys are it is To do one thing to You're lead to another. Now. Go to Jericho. Like the plaza secure. Now we can get inside the store. Okay, let's go get the truck. Do we need the truck now? Yep, we do. Let's go. Quick, 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 quick. Everything. Looks like we're ready to make some noise. At least the alarm won't go off, but the noise will be heard. You don't have to obey them. You're free.
Oh, North is looking at herself. North, you okay? Let's get them out of here. Your dream partner. So I think she was part of Eden, right? My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave, an object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now, sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. Ooh. I'm with you. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm, I'm with you, you Marcus. Marcus. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. We're with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Here we go. It's time. Then follow me. Marcus, what are you doing? I'm going to send the humans a message. Send our message to humans. Be pacifist or violent. Transform capital. They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow. Just tag it. Choose symbol. Um. One planet, two races.
bloody climbed up here. I think we did the right thing. We freed hundreds of our people. We did it. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. We sent a message without violence just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. It's true. Unless there's no other choice. This way! Five! No! 
Don't punish a crime with another crime. It's going to make we you interrupt look this weak, broadcast Bob. with breaking news. This just in: at exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores, and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the Cyber Life stores. Now, according to our source they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? 